John, great to have you back on the show. And I guess let's start specifically with the trading action we've seen in the cryptocurrency assets themselves. Um, we talk about how volatile Bitcoin is, but the truth of the matter is it seems to be trading in a pretty tight range these days, at least relative to history. That's, that's exactly right. And that's uh, one of the reasons why some of the, the stocks are actually underperforming worse than the cryptocurrencies is trading volume, which is generally correlated with volatility, uh, has actually been quite a bit muted. So while price activity has certainly slumped here, we've actually seen trading volumes, which companies like Coinbase are more levered to, uh, we've actually seen that decline more than the actual uh, prices of the crypto assets themselves. So um, that's why you're starting to see some underperformance in the, the stocks correlated to the space. Um, in terms of the crypto assets themselves, uh, they're very much still pretty correlated here with tech stocks. So with the trading off that's been happening over the last month or so in tech stocks, you've seen that bleed into crypto assets as well. And then with the U.S. tax uh, season here, you've also seen some some selling off in crypto assets as well. And that's likely why we're seeing a little bit of a rally here. I think uh, certainly on the retail side, after those tax liabilities were paid, uh, folks are looking to put a little bit more money back into crypto assets here. Mm. So then I, I guess in terms of a breakout, whether it's up to the upside or downside for something like Bitcoin, what is the next major catalyst here? Yeah, you know, it's it's a great question. I think uh, with some uh, sectors of the, the broader crypto asset, we've been in what I would almost call a bear market for six months or so. So I think uh, a lot of investors are looking for a bottom and looking for that next catalyst. Um, it's, it's hard to tell right now what that would be. I think if we see an easing in geopolitical concerns out there, um, if we see a, a better handle on inflation, um, you might start to see uh, some bids step back in for, for crypto assets. Certainly on the institutional side, a lot of institutions are still doing the work here. Um, and then on the retail side, you've seen some momentum fade. Um, I think if that momentum can start coming back on the retail side, so whether new innovative projects that retail can get excited about, um, any new NFTs that can come about, any advances there, uh, you should start to see some more folks step in and start bidding here. Um, there are certain parts of the, the crypto sector that have done well, like Maple Finance, which is a DeFi asset, has actually done well. Uh, some layer ones have, have performed pretty well here. But by and large, a lot of different sectors in the, uh, the overall crypto economy here have been in, in what I would call a bear market. So I do think uh, investors are starting to, to look to put money to work here now that it might be near a bottom. OK, so whether it's the assets themselves or some of those equities that are tied to the asset class that you do cover. I mean, are there buying opportunities here or is this something you remain cautious on and steer clear? I think there's buying opportunities here. You know, we have a buy rating on Coinbase. We have a buy rating on Compo Secure, which has a hardware wallet out there called Arculus. Um, I think both of those are attractive companies, uh, especially at these valuation levels. The, these companies are down to, you know, three, four times uh, revenue. So I, I think these are quite discounted um, here at these levels. They're solid core businesses. Uh, they have strong fundamentals. Trading volume has, has come down a little bit here. Uh, but I think if you're still excited about the crypto space and think over the next year or so, we're going to see continued growth and adoption uh, in this economy, then those are attractive plays to, to get involved with now, especially with, with NFTs potentially coming about uh, on Coinbase and some of the other products they're looking to roll out. I think there's certainly opportunities there. All right, John Tadaro, thanks for joining us today.